Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's Saturday, which means I got to sleep in, but I don't want to sleep too much and just make myself like overtired. So I think I stayed up until like one last night, and I got up around nine, which honestly isn't bad. So not, not, not. I'm just making coffee. I'm gonna start my day. I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to make today a good day because I can do whatever I want today and I don't want to be bummy and lame like I have been. So today's going to be a super good day. I think it's like 75 degrees for a high which means that hopefully our apartment isn't going to get like super hot which is always a good thing because that just always makes me cranky and that's like I figured out that's the reason that I haven't been working out is because like it's just so hot in here that I can't get myself to like work out so if anything I'm thinking if it does get hot I can pretend I'm doing like hot yoga <laughs> because it's just hot in my apartment. The only thing that I really need to get done today is canceling my gym membership and I'm pretty sure I can write a letter but I have to make sure that everything's all good because I don't know if my like terms and conditions of my contract are like gonna be weird and different because of COVID, <laughs> because I haven't paid for 12 months of it, but I'm out of, it's been over 12 months since I had the membership, so I just need to call the gym and then potentially write a letter because I don't want to go there in person just to give like a written notice when I could just mail something, so I, right when I woke up this morning, I went and looked at the, the mail depositor, the blue thing. I put your mail in to see when our pickup time is, and it's not till 2.15, so I have not, like, rushed in doing that, but I should get it done sooner than later. But other than that, it's probably going to be a pretty chill day. I've been trying to, like, center myself again, and I think that, like, journaling and reading and meditating every day for at least a little bit of time does really make me that much happier and that much more, like, grounded. So I think that I'm going to try to start doing that stuff again, which is very interesting to film, so I just thought I'd let you know if it's, like, what is she doing with all of her time? I'm doing, getting back into, like, my journal prompts and just being super intentional down on paper. So, yeah, since today's self-care day, maybe I will show me journaling and doing my face mask and doing some other things to just make me feel cute and confident and happy and focus on all the positive things that are in my life. Okay, so I've been, like, super productive in the last hour, so I'm, like, super pumped up about that. I got, like, so many morning chores done. I did the dishes, I cleaned the litter box, I took out the trash and the recycling, and then I tried to contact Fitness for 10, and they didn't answer, so then I waited a little bit, and I called again, and they didn't answer. So I left a message, and I tried to message them on Facebook, and I just got, like, an automated response. So I called my dad to see if he had any intel on if I have to pay a cancellation fee or not. Uh, so far, I have no idea. I might just send it anyways. Just try to cancel it and hope that they don't charge me, because I really, I really just have no idea. Oh yeah, I also, like, swept. Like, I've really done a whole lot so far today so I'm like super pumped and it's like kind of gloomy but I feel like that's like a good weather as long as it's not raining to go for a walk just because I think it's like cooler outside than it even is in our apartment so I'm thinking I might go for a walk and just like throw on a sweatshirt and be comfy and like listen to an audiobook I just started well I just started to mean white supremacy because I didn't realize it was like a like a journal as you go book so I, I've listened to like the whole intro part but then it it kind of got started and I felt like you know I shouldn't be like if I need to be journaling it I shouldn't be listening while I'm doing stuff which is normally how I listen to audiobooks like that's what really motivates me I feel like to clean and go for walks is because I can just be like listening to something the whole time so that I don't get bored I feel like I just need to like keep the ball rolling while I'm going so done with my face mask I just need to let this sit for a little bit and then I'm probably just gonna journal in the meantime. This is my super cute journal. Shout out to my Instagram followers when I had like a vote on which journal I should start because I couldn't decide between this and another one. And this this one was the winner, so it's super super cute. And I like that it has the three rings so that I can fold it over because sometimes it's hard with journals when they're like bound in the middle. So it's hard to crack it and then it's hard to like 
get it to be like a flat surface. So it's funny that when I started listening to Me and White Supremacy, I didn't know that it started out as like a daily Instagram journal prompt kind of post because that's like literally the journal prompts that I've been doing lately. I haven't done it in like a week. I got super far behind and then they were at like day 50 so I just like unsubscribed because I was having them email me every day but I was like I'm so far behind it's gonna take a while for me to catch up but it was called like the isolation journals my sister sent me the post on Instagram about it and it was just right at the beginning of COVID and everything shutting down and so it was just like journal prompts and they all have like this whole story thing to them you can read and then you you do your prompt and whatever so that, that's how I've been like starting every day and I'll probably just do that until I take the mask off and then I'll take the mask off because I always don't journal or read because I feel like it's going to be this like huge time consuming activity and then it turns out that like I really can get like a journal prompt out in 10 minutes slash my hand gets tired by that time anyways and then if I want to just like keep doing any kind of journaling. I journal a lot so it used to be very like particular about how I did it and now I just like if I want to write my food diary all the food I ate that day in there I will if I want to make like a shopping list I will like it's really my like everything journal but I personally have been happier like that and I feel like I've been more motivated to use it as of late now that like I'm not like restricting myself and I'm not having to just like write about my feelings all the time or like what I'm doing that day I really like opened the book to just being like this is where I just keep like everything thought based so you don't care I'm gonna journal now journaling for like 30 minutes just because I kind of hadn't written in a long time so I got like super <laughs> into that for a while and then afterwards I just rinse off my face and kind of finish my skincare routine because I never really did that this morning and so it's like 12 30 and my mail picks up really soon so I haven't heard back from the fitness place so I just sent my letter Anyways, and it was sprinkling a little bit outside. I don't think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the day, but it was still a little bit sprinkly, so I didn't want to go for a walk right now. So I've been looking at YouTube, looking at different videos so that I can do a workout at home. And I saw that it's actually like a yoga, international yoga day. So there's like a live video that Yoga with Adrian is doing right now, which is like my favorite go-to YouTube for yoga. So I pretty much either do yoga with Yoga with Adrian, or I do like a fitness, more like high intensity workout with Chloe Ting. So those are the two kind of YouTube things that I always do for fitness. Even though I haven't been doing it lately because my apartment's been so hot, but I figured this is a good day because it's like noon and my apartment hasn't gone over 75 degrees yet and usually it hits like 80 around like noon to 3. So I'm going to get up my yoga mat and do a yoga video and then if I still have any energy after I'll probably just do like a quick like 10 minute Chloe Ting video and then hopefully that kind of centers me to the point where I can meditate really quick when I meditate I use like the Inscape app I can maybe show you guys that sometime but then otherwise maybe I'll go for a walk after we'll find out <laughs> also really quick before I go I just want to say this is like the comfiest biggest pajama shirt and that's my favorite thing about working out at home because I don't know why people in video put on a whole cute outfit to work out because I'm like you're at home so you can wear your pajamas so that's what I do so sorry if I like give you some b-roll and I'm in my pajama shirt because I'm at home so why would I need to put on a whole fucking workout clothes outfit thing doesn't make sense Okay, so I did yoga. That video was like an hour and a half. It was like really long. So afterwards, 
for meditation. I just did like a quick five minutes and then I listened to an audiobook and made a smoothie. But then that's when Josh had woken up and he suggested we go to the bookstore downtown. It's this cute little used bookstore that I will show you guys. So I quick changed into clean clothes even though I'm still really like grimy and not cute <laughs> right now. So we're at Quick Chip because it's a cash only small business. Fingers crossed that they're open. I think they are, but I'm not 100%. So he's going to get cash before we run down there. And then I will show you guys that. And then we might walk around. I need to run and get a few things for my dad for Father's Day tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll probably do that too. So my day isn't totally going as planned, but it should hopefully be fun. Anyways. place that has good lighting right now we just got back we went to cup foods and I got chips and stuff for my dad for Father's Day and then we stopped hanging out Culver's on the way home all that after the bookstore from the bookstore I got buying time I got the player of games I got phases of gravity and destination void so apparently I'm just going through a giant sci-fi phase because those are the last two books I've bought as well and then we, we got the exact same things from Culver's as we did last time, so go watch that video. We're gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna turn fans on and shut the window because Josh is mad about this situation right now. <laughs> and watch Netflix. <laughs> 